YouTube. What is going on, y'all? It's your boy KBZ, and let's make a beat with contact. Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Bees. Um, hope you guys are fired up. Today, I'm going to be making a beat with no Omnisphere. I'm going to be using contact. Um, so, yeah, basically, I just got some sounds I pulled out here that I like, um, and I'm just going to try to get a beat going. Um, and yeah, I feel like I haven't really showed contact off in any of my videos, so I figured this is a good video to start um, using contact a little bit more. But yeah, basically, um, I found this sound, Analog Dreams Bank, um, and it's like a little pluck, and that's what I'm gonna use to get started. So yeah, let's get into it. Last thing before I get into it, uh, make sure to head over to my Instagram, give me a follow at KBZ. Head over to my Snapchat, Twitter, give me a follow at KBZ the God. Um, and yeah, let's get it. Let's get fired up. So yeah, with this little pluck thing. I like this uh, bank because you can like sort of change like each thing. Like you can just go through and change A and B to whatever you want. So like, let's say I want that. I don't want that one, but <laughs> you get the idea. Um, I'm gonna try to get like something smooth. Um, what well, sounds cool? Poly Heaven, maybe? Nah, I want it smoother. Nah. That's pretty good, soft analog. I'm gonna just go like that. Just add the bass notes here, so dun, dun. I'm trying to figure out if I can do that if I pitch it up. I think I'm gonna try this. And then uh, I might change that last chord, but then I got this uh, preset from Ethno World, Shanghai Baby Piano. Um, this is a dope bank, by the way. Um, for contact, it's got a bunch of dope sounds, so. I'm just doing basic chords here, and then. See how up. Hold up, wait, I might go just back like this. Dun, dun. I think I'm gonna go back up. So it's just like dun, 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 bum. Bah, bah, that's like a good little chord progression. Actually, I don't really like this preset. Um, I might try something else. I got so many banks now, like I don't even know what to even use. I'm not gonna lie. Um, literally, I'm just gonna click this and just see strings. Let's, let's just drag something in, you know? Like the thing with contacts is just got so many sounds, you can't really go wrong. Um, you just gotta try and experiment, you know? Um, Hold up, I think this is loading. Okay, hold up. Um, I'm gonna pull this in here. Hold up, this is sort of... What the fuck, the voicing on this is all messed up, so y'all... Hold up. Two hours later. Two hours later. That's sort of hard, I think. That's sort of dope. I see, yo. Finally, I got a preset I like. Um, I'm using this uh, contact bank kinetic toys, and I just this candy preset, and then I'm just, I'm changing the voice into the chord, so I'm just taking the second note and moving it up octave. Um, that's pretty dope. Um, and then I'm gonna just go like, with this 808 I got. I'm literally just following the root notes, so. And then I 
think I might honestly just take this out, yo. I'm I'm low key feeling like this should just be a longer chord, like da na 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 na. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm gonna try it. few extra notes just to give it a different voicing and then that's basically it so because i just want i like the the feel of the melody when it's on c so i just want to like keep that going because it feels good you know Maybe I will go back. I just like how it is. I don't know. Let me think. It is low key better like that, huh? And sometimes that's how it is, yo. When you're making a beat, you gotta like, you can't just stick with what you're going with, you know? You gotta just try different things, you know what I'm saying? Change the chord progression and stuff. Try to find a different pitch or a different progression or whatever that'll just sound good. So, uh, I think I'm gonna stick with it how it was originally, and then I'm gonna just get a snare or something, so. I'm gonna turn the hi-hat up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go get, um, I see, I got this kick, the zone kick um, from a high-tech drum kit, and then I might actually try one other kick I got. Um, We'll go into artillery. So I did a little kick right there, and then I added an 808 right after it. Um, just give it a little bit of a bounce. And then I did that little double open hat thing, and I'm gonna add like a little roll. And then I just want to give it like high energy. That's why I did the little open hat thing. Um, but I'm gonna only do that every 16 or whatever. Um, it's a loop and an eight in the, in the pattern. Um. Sounds good to me, but it definitely needs like one more melody right quick. So, um, hold up. I'm gonna save this right quick. I need it for the keys. I need something longer than that though. Hold up. Getting better.
Rogan preset to it. Um, I'm gonna just EQ a little bit and try to cut out some harsh stuff. A little cut out knob or cut off knob helps with that too. I just want the kick to be a little bit or the clap to be a little bit more. Kick's not or the clap's not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn everything down a little bit. Um, just so the, the clap is still good. That's better. Okay, then last thing I'm gonna do just to add a little bit of a switch up for the second pattern is we got all these chords, but then on this one, I'm gonna just go up an octave. Um, and then I'm gonna do the open hat, like ch -ch -ch. And then I'm going to go kick pattern. And then we should be good. Let me check it. So I'm going to let you guys hear the little switch up. So Just listen for the 808. You know what I'm saying? That note gives it a little bit of a different bounce. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, that's how you make like a melodic um, banger with contact. Now I'm gonna arrange it right quick. Um, I guess I could add a bass line, but what I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna do Omnisphere real quick. This is the last thing I'm gonna add to the beat, just for a little switch up period. I need like a sub bass, you know, like for a very easy switch up just to change the energy in beats is to take off the 808 and go for like um, the same pattern or same bass line, just it's with uh, like a synth bass instead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go. Hold on, actually, I'm gonna just Control C the Control V so I can copy paste it, and then I'm just gonna take out all the extra notes. Um, and then I'm gonna send this Omnisphere to. Then hold up. That's like a little switch up and then. I like the way the little hi-hats like tss, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta just find little pockets like that, like how this goes together so well. It's like it goes right from the open hat right to the hi-hat roll. Um but yeah, uh that's gonna be it for this. I'm just gonna arrange it right quick. So I'm gonna clone this. Send that to the piano roll, split by channel, and then let's get it. All right, so this is the beat. Um, I arranged it. We just got a little intro, hook, um, verse, bridge, hook, verse, bridge, hook, and the beat's done. Um, so last thing I, I thought of right now, which I'm just gonna try real quick, is I'm gonna go in here and try out a girl's beat um, on this little pluck. Um, and then I'm gonna go to presets, momentary, half speed. And then I'm gonna go to create automation. Hold up. Hold up. And then I'm gonna do that just because I think that'll give it like a little bit of a. You don't want the second, the first part of your hook and the second part of your hook to be this, the same, really. Like you want, in my opinion, you want the second part of the hook to get a little bit more energy. So. Um, that's the last thing I think this needs. Um, so then 
yeah, it's gonna be the beat. I'm gonna let you guys hear it. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. We're almost at 100K. But yeah, let's get it. If you want any of the sounds I was using, the links to all my sound kits is in the description. Um, yeah, I love you guys. You guys can expect videos every Wednesday and every Saturday now. Um, I'm gonna be having an upload schedule, two videos a week, every Wednesday and every Saturday. You can expect a new video. But yeah, besides that, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure to head over to my Instagram, follow me at KBZ, head over to my Snapchat and Twitter, give me a follow at KBZ the God. And that's gonna be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay fired up.